The year is 2021. There are more live streamers now than ever before. And as someone who makes videos about tutorials and advice for live streamers, I can tell you that the setup has always been the same. You install your broadcasting software, you set up your custom overlays and other fancy borders, you pick a service that will allow you to have alerts and widgets. This is the typical live streamer setup, and this is all good, but there's something that's missing here. Because those alerts, those widgets, they all have to do with the support that you get, which is great. But there's one thing that could be important to you that they don't react to, and that is your gameplay. How well you are doing in game. What if you could have a system that rewards you or that hypes up the chat automatically because you're doing so well in your game? I can mention playbacks, okay? You did something cool in the game and then you can play it back on the little corner of your screen. You're gonna tell me, oh, that's a thing, it exists. I know how to do it on Streamlabs or OBS. But the problem is you have to set it to a keybind and you have to remember to press that specific button while you're also busy kicking butt in the game. <laughs> you shouldn't have to, it should be automatic. Let me cut to the chase. This video is sponsored by Uncanny. And what Uncanny does is basically once you log in with your Twitch account to their website, they will analyze your stream and trigger alerts or stats based off of what they see. It analyzes your gameplay and based off of what's going on, it will trigger some hype alerts and also automatically handle those replays for you. And you have nothing crazy to do. Now you're probably thinking, oh, what should I download? You don't have to download anything. It's all done through a browser source. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you how it works, how easy it is to set up, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. First thing you wanna do is go to my specific link. It is live.uncanny.gg slash r slash get level. And this will allow you to use Uncanny for free, at least for now, while it's in beta. So this is why I urge you to go try it right now. Press enter. And this is the Uncanny website. It tells you about instant kill replays, game triggered hypes. Those are the events that I told you about, the alerts. It can actually give you real time vitals and real time map location, which is a pretty convenient thing if you wanna show the chat where have you been before, basically. All right, so connect with Twitch and you'll see that right here, you actually have a tutorial on how to do everything, but we're gonna pick a game. In my case, I mostly play Apex, so I'll click on Apex. As you can see here, we have an instant kill replay, a game triggered hype, and then vitals. Now, if you don't have any of that, you just click plus and then you choose exactly which ones you want. We don't have the map location on Apex yet, but again, it's in beta. For example, if you wanna set up instant kill replay, you just click here and click add, okay? The threshold is pretty much what is very important. Why is that important? It's because it's basically a cool down on how many replays you want to be showing, basically. And then there's a zoom feature on that replay. We can test right here by clicking test and as you can see this is what it would uh, look like this is the whole replay that would look like that and if we want to zoom basically and as you can see it's a little bit punched in so we can see the cross air and if there's that sweet sweet tracking people will definitely see how well you did click save and this is where you get your browser source you just click copy you go to your broadcasting software you go to the plus you click browser we're just gonna call it browser we're gonna copy paste the link in here. Now, depending on the size that you want, you can set up the width, the height. I'm gonna make mine 1080p and I will manually scale it down. Click, okay. But if you wanna have a preview of what would happen if it were to trigger a playback, just click OBS test right here. And there we go. Now with that test going on, you can actually place it wherever you want. You can even put a little camera border over it. And that's how simple you can set up the automatic playback system. And let's go to components. Let's add a second component, game triggered hype, for example. Now the game triggered hype is those alerts that react to gameplay that I was talking about. Overlay style, select the video. And you're gonna see they have some pretty cool looking uh, overlays. One of my favorite is this one. And as you can see, it automatically tells you where it's going to trigger. So you have a five kill streak, 10, 20. If there's five people left on the map, if there's 10 people left, if there's two kills in one minute. But if you want to add more, you can just click on code editor. And this is where you would go ahead and customize it. You can check out the audio once you enable the audio here and you can test each in every one of them to see what they sound like and what they look like. For example, the five kill streak, we can test it here. Boom. And there's audio that says five kills. Once you're satisfied, click save. Export is the exact same thing. You're gonna have that on a separate browser source so that if you want it to be smaller, for example, you can have control over that. Now from the website, if you wanna test it, we can do this. 
And basically, once you go live, it can analyze the gameplay footage from your game scene. So add those to the, your game scene and it will trigger those events. Now, as you can see, it is compatible for now with Apex, Warzone, Fortnite. It will be compatible with more games in the future. I advise you go there, watch their tutorial and start messing around with it and setting it up. Now, the good news is that it's in beta and it's free right now. So please, please go check it out. Go mess around with it and let me know what you think. Also, beta means that they are still working on it and still improving it. This might be the fourth step when it comes to live streaming. This is, I don't want to say this is the future of live streaming, but this feels like something that should have been a thing a while back, but we have it now. I am very, very excited to see how well they're going to improve on what they already have in the beta. I already love what they already give us and for free. So anyways, check it out. Try it. Go live. Let me know what you think and let me know what your chat thinks about it. I tried it with Apex for one live stream and my chat absolutely loved it. Front sniper. <laughs> he did this cool peaky thing. Again. So once you do that, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know any ideas you might have because I feel like the devs will be watching this one. Anyways, once again, this video has been sponsored by uncanny.gg go click on that link in the description to go try it out for yourself for free today <laughs> and this is the part where youtube will tell you what they think is the best video you should watch next at the bottom you will see my most recent video and um thank you guys so much for watching this video i will see you guys next time go out there make me proud get level out